<laughs> Trying to record my intro and this guy's just staring at me. Can I help you? How's it going everyone? My name is Breeze and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back on the Minecraft Let's Play world. Back at our desert village as you can see. And as you can see it's nice and sunny. All the villagers are out at the moment. Now... The main reason I am back with another episode already is because I am thinking about a few base ideas. Now, obviously, like I said, I want to be able to build my base between the two villages, but the only problem with that is... Let me just quickly store all this in here. The only problem with that is, between the two villages, is just this huge desert. Now, I don't really like the idea of building a desert-style house. So my idea is to either build in one of the one of the savannas at either end of this desert. So either this one over here, preferably that mountain there, that would probably be a good idea. Either that one or the one further down by the um, by the savanna village. I'm thinking about the savanna village over there. It's probably a better idea because the mountain is a little bit bigger, as you can see here. You can see that that is a pretty big mountain right there. So we'd probably be able to get a lot of stuff in there. And the one over here is not too big in size, unfortunately. Um, this one is a pretty small one. I have actually explored all around both of them. And this one is like super tiny compared to the other one. Um, as you can see here like so um, unfortunately this one was going to be my first choice because it's closer to the desert the desert one but I'm thinking the savannah one is a bit of a better choice for us if we quickly I'm gonna quickly jump over there and show you guys right here we go now luckily that didn't actually take a lot of time mainly because the villagers are so close to each other but as you can see this one is like 10 or not 10 times twice the size Maybe even three times as bigger than the other biome over there. And I just saw this like main in this little entrance way here. I'm thinking I might actually build it like this is our actual main entrance. That way we can actually go straight across to the other savannah. I'm just gonna quickly raise my render distance quickly. See if we can see it from here. Now that is gonna cause a bit of lag unfortunately. Um but yeah, that is going to be where I'm gonna be building our main base. Um hopefully you guys do really like that idea, but Obviously, because we have recently moved from our old base to the new one, we are going to have to collect some more resources. And that is going to be a bit of a problem because the only wood we're going to get from this area is obviously the um, acacia wood, I think this is called. That does up if you mine it. Where did my wood go? There it is, yeah. It is acacia wood. So I'm not a great fan of it. As you can see, it does make this nice orange colour. We might actually use it, actually. Because if you can see here, the... Um, Alcacia logs plus the orange do make a nice combo. So I'm thinking about I might actually go ahead and do that. Obviously copperstone as well is going to be one of our main building blocks. A um, few sm smooth stone bricks and no I didn't. Good. I thought I just broke that village then uh, but luckily we didn't. Now what I need to actually do is do a little bit of collecting. So I need to collect some of this wood. Um, at the moment, we literally have nothing. So what I'm going to be doing, probably probably, probably between episodes or between clips, I'm going to head back to our old base um, and actually collect all the stuff from over there. So literally everything we have over there, I'm going to try and bring to this a new savannah biome. And what I, what I want to quickly do is head up here just to see how much... Oh, damn. Oh, wow, that is actually nice have this nice open area here as well so I do believe we might be able to do this um, now I'm gonna probably end up making the village a bit bigger what I kinda wanna do is like use this utilize this entire area here um, now what I wanna do is like basically move the village both the villages into this area here and probably block most of the disc off with like giant walls. I have been watching a load of YouTube videos on how to make like castles and stuff like that. So I could implement a few, few of those things into this let's play. Um, now obviously you guys know me. I'm not the greatest builder in the world. So it is a bit of a challenge for me to be able to build these huge scale things. Yeah that's actually not a bad idea. So what I could do is build walls around all the openings. I think I might have that one over there. I might actually do that. 
have like a gate, uh, an archway where we come in and out. This will be like the dock archway because it's right next to the ocean. That will be like the main entrance for land. So obviously we'll come from the village here um, and head straight into the big village here. Now that would mean I will have to try and create my own little houses, um, which will be a nice little challenge for us because I've never actually built my own like village. I need to quickly go and kill a couple of sheep. Now I have actually been using these looting swords. That's why I had so many, um, so much pork chopping in the last clip. Unfortunately, I don't think it works on sheep though. So we're gonna have hopefully not waste this. Um, but I'm gonna quickly collect a few pieces of wood and then make ourselves a quick bed because I don't want any of our villagers to die in the meantime while we're building this. So there we go. Now we have some wood, and then we need some wood as well, unfortunately. So I'm chopped down at one of these trees. But yeah, there you, go. there you go. That's the wood this stuff makes. It's a really nice looking color. Uh, so we're probably going to end up using this for all of our builds. I'm not too sure about that just yet. So I'm going to wait to be able to sleep, and then I'm going to start collecting some resources. I might actually clear up most of the trees in this area. Hopefully we can actually get a ton of resources from all this. Um, I, was, I might actually set up like a little tree farm over here where our uh, bed is located. Plus I do want to get rid of most of this grass here. Because I don't really like this. I like it to all be like really flat and all that. And there's another little opening over here. So we'll probably actually use this one for our dock because it is a nice huge opening. Yeah, that's a good idea because this can, this can be like our main dock area. That would be a pretty good idea. I might remove that island. Actually... If any of you know what, um, I think it's Dover in England. If you know any of you know what Dover looks like, the Dover port, um, I might actually try and build that. Uh, it's like a, I think it's like a, a ring thing. I can't really explain it really. I might actually try and get a picture and put it on the screen for you guys. Um, but it's like a, it's like a circular, uh, like it's like a fort type thing. But it's got like an opening at one end, so like boats coming in and out of there. So I might end up doing that on here. That would be a pretty good idea, actually. But yeah, enough, enough with the jibber-jabber. We are going to collect some resources. And I'll see you guys once I've pretty much stripped this place of everything apart from grass. So yeah, I will see you guys in a few moments. Okay, now we are back. Now, I thought it would be a better idea to actually make a start on our base, as this is going to take a long time to clear out. Also, I was thinking that it would probably be a best idea to not clear out everything in this area, because we do want to keep a few of the natural looks around. Obviously, I'm going to try and keep the natural terrain as much as possible. Obviously, we will be building the uh, towers and stuff around the edges, just to keep it protected. But the main plan was to build um, the village in here and build my main base in like the mountains uh, because I kind of want to have that whole underground tunnel system going through each end of the base. What I'm kind of planning on doing is having an underground system where we can bring the villagers in and out. Hopefully that will be a pretty decent idea. Um, actually to be honest I think to get the villagers into the city into this um, surrounding area it'd probably be best just to have like a minecart come from like that village and the village further along into this area so that'll probably be your best idea for now um but i have moved all the stuff from the village into the uh new area now the only problem is i kind of need to start figuring out where i want my base to start like my main entrance obviously i want to have an entrance inside the uh inside the um I don't know what to call it, it's like the village area and obviously one to come out of it. Now my main plan is to have like a grand entrance down here. Uh, actually that's not a bad idea to be honest. We could have the grand main entrance here for the base as it does lead out to like a nice little pathway. Um, kind of. Um, and also have it go all the way through, have like an archway going all the way through here um, to this end. Now this is quite a thick mountain. So it might take a bit of time to dig out. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work because all this will be in the way. It'll take a lot of time to dig unless we put it here. And then it's still going to take a while to dig through because this is quite a thick mountain. Unless we do that where it comes in there, comes across here and then... Yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. So this will be like our entrance to the village. I'm going to have like a doorway here. I'm probably going to end up blocking all these parts off with giant walls and like bridges and stuff to get across to the other end which would be a pretty decent idea if we ever decide to do 
actually use these areas now so if we're going to use this as our main entrance obviously I'm going to be digging like a tunnel going from here to that other end but what I need to work out is where my base is going to start because I want my base to be in this mountain uh, in this mountain do you know what actually scratch that we are going to actually use to go back to the original idea and use this as like our main entrance for now um, what I plan to do is obviously come in through the uh, side door there or this door right this entrance way here walk around and this will be our main base area now what I plan to do I know this is going to be a planning episode um, is to go underground and then we could pop up every now and again into the mountains if we so wish and try and utilize as much of them as possible but what I'm going to do quickly is going to dig out like a huge area here for our main entrance. I wanted this entrance to look really nice and I'm going to be using as much acacia wood as possible. So hopefully we can make this look really nice. I'm going to dig out quite a nice area here. Hopefully we don't get too distracted by this and end up killing off all the villagers because that is the last thing I want to happen. Right, let's quickly see how big this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's actually quite a decent size, but I'm kind of I'm probably gonna make that a bit smaller. I'm gonna probably do a bit of uh, terrain editing here, so we can actually make that fit a bit nicer. I even want it to be eight or ten blocks wide, but I'm gonna do some digging, and I'll see you guys once it is done. Okay, now welcome back. Now I have done a bit of work on the front of the base. Now I want you guys to leave your honest opinions on what you think on this because it's not it's obviously not finished but I have been doing a ton of work on it. So if we quickly turn around. This is going to be like the main entrance. Now I'm not too I'm not 100% on the uh, fences here just for now, but the, I think these are just going to be here for the meantime while just until we have a more permanent base like entrance. Uh, the fence gates are just going to be there to keep the mobs out. And now what I plan to do with this, um, this is not finished just yet, as you can see we've still got a few more bits to do. Um, what I plan to do with this is dig back a few more blocks and then start dig making like a staircase entrance. And I'm probably going to go back a bit further on this layer and do like a giant type of um, monument style thing. That is kind of what I want to do. But this is the main entrance for now. Uh, if you guys can leave your comments down below on what you actually think of this. Because I would like to know. Um, but yeah, unfortunately this is all I've got time for. I know this is a short episode for a change. Um, hopefully in the next episode it will be a little bit longer. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, please be sure to smack that like button. It is really appreciated. Hopefully in the next episode I will, would have done a bit more work. We could do a bit more work on camera on this base. And I can just give you guys a few more ideas. And hopefully you guys would have left your comments by the time the next episode is aired. And yeah, we should be able to be able to build this base really nicely. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.